My name is Adam. I'm a teacher. I've worked at Almaty for the last five years, three of them at an international school, two of them at universities. I've taught English uh, literature, writing, debate, drama, intercultural communication, public speaking. And the last two years, I've been building an English language speech and debate league. And this semester, for the first time, we've actually sent our students from Almaty through computer, of course, because of the lockdowns, but to compete in international events with Chinese and American top de de debaters. In 2007 to 2008, I lived in China and I visited U Urumqi and Turfan as a tourist. And I really liked it. I thought I would really like to see Central Asia outside of the Chinese border. So um, it was always in my mind to eventually get an international job in Central Asia. I worked in Japan, Bulgaria, and China, and then eventually an opening came up in Almaty, and I thought, okay, here's my chance. I guess to put it in short, in, uh, as a short answer, it was curiosity that brought me here. I knew very little about Central Asia. I think a lot of people outside of Central Asia know very little about Central Asia. It's a very broad question. Um, it really depends on the organization. The job that I have signed on for for next year, I, I'm working for locals and these are some of the most inspiring people I've ever met. And they're idealists, they're trying to reform the education system through the entire country. I love their energy and I love their dedication. I've also worked at jobs where a company will encourage students to cheat on the SAT. I've been yelled at for not writing an essay for my students, which would be illegal. Um, th these are some, of, so it really depends on who you're working for, I guess. <laughs> I didn't really have one. Um, I've, I've traveled a lot. I've been very lucky to be able to travel. Uh, I've been a tourist in over 100 different countries. Uh, Kazakhstan was the fifth country I've lived and worked in. But um, when I first came here, I guess the, the culture shock was the school that I worked at. It was a very different academic culture. But again, that's not a product of the country. That's a product of the school, the administration, the students who are there. That's a hard one. Um, I would say Plov, but Plov is Uzbek, it's not Kazakh. Um, Shashlik is not Kazakh, but a lot of Central Asians to kind of merge the dishes. Um, people can be very friendly. Uh, people can be very kind. My first month in Almaty, I was ordering Shashlik, I guess, my resting facial expression is confused. I always look confused, even though I'm not. Um, and this guy who hardly spoke English at the, at the time tried to help me un understand what the person was saying to me. I did understand, but um, I, I understood I had to wait 15 minutes. But this man tried to help, even though he didn't really speak the language, which was very cool. I ended up uh, drinking vodka with him and his friend. Like, and then four and a half years later, he's actually still a friend. That's, that's pretty cool. People can be very friendly and they wanna connect to people without having an agenda. And I think that's very, that's a wonderful thing. I actually don't, a lot, a lot of my friends, they, um, they're, they're Kazakh, but they usually use phrases in Russian or English. I don't use that many phrases in Kazakh. Like with any part of the world, it's not a perfect country. And since my job is in the field of education, I guess my critiques will come in that field. I've encountered a lot of What's the word I'm looking for? I think it's cynicism. A lot of acceptance that the system is less than perfect, 
which is fine, but there's a lot of lack of interest in trying to change it or, or improve it. A lot of, let's just pass the person. Let's not try to improve it this year. Let's do that next year. We'll talk later. Uh, I don't think that's very helpful. I've, um, a lot of, yeah, I, I guess we'll say resignation instead of active involvement in trying to change, to, to change things. When I worked for American employers, it was easier. When I start, when I worked last year for, for, for Kazakh employers at a public university, then I was very surprised with how um, like the administrators themselves would encourage corruption among the, te the teachers and how uh, this rubbed off on the students in a very toxic way. It's an easy place to, tra to travel to. The tourism, the infrastructure of tourism is not as well developed as in Kyrgyzstan or Uzbekistan. These countries embraced tourism a long time ago and they do it very well. In Kazakhstan, it's a lot different. Um, I don't think the country had to embrace the tour the, the tourism for, for financial, for, 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 sorry, my, my stutter is preventing me from speaking, for economic, um, for reasons of the economy, but ever since they um, did, it's possible to get around. People are very friendly. If you're vegetarian or vegan, please understand that that might be hard to deal with. <laughs> I had a friend from the UK who came to visit. She rented a car. She took a three day road trip to a lot of the, the national parks. This is to Singing Sand Dune, through Alton ML, to Kainda. Her first problem was that when it was her and a man who was a little bit younger than her, when, when they rented a car, the, the rental was in her name, but the guy refused to interact with her. He shook hands with the guy and kind of treated her like an object in, in the room. Um, when of course the rental all was in her name, the arrangement was actually entirely hers. And then when she was on the road for those three days, she ate potato chips the whole time because there was no, there were no options for a veg, for a vegetarian diet. And this was a struggle for her. When, as soon as we came back, we went to Korean restaurants and Indian 